We're speaking with Antonio Swad, the man labeled by industry colleagues as a marketing genius because of his work with Pizza Patron. He's one of the Food Channel pros, leaders with guts. Antonio, what's your best selling menu item at Pizza Patron and does it vary at all by region? You know, uh, because we're in a business, it's pizza, it has an extremely broad base, but we hold ourselves out as a Hispanic brand, uh, service to that community. I get asked that and the expectation is that it's going to be a topping that is uh, chorizo or something like that and it's pepperoni. You know, pepperoni mm -hmm. pizza, I think universally around the world or at least in the U.S. is, uh, is the number one selling pizza. I know it is in other chains and, and in Pizza Patron it is, it is also. Pepperoni pizza, hard to beat it. Where do you, the new menu ideas come from and do you, do you ever get ideas from the customers? Well, we try to have LTOs, limited time offers that are relevant to our core customer. Uh, a while back we did, for example, during the summer we did a, a limited time offer pizza that was beef barbacoa. Barbacoa is a, a beef that is associated with festive times and, and celebrations. And so we developed a pizza that was built around barbacoa and ran that for a while. So our limited time offers need to have a cultural relevance as well as uh, make good economic sense for the business model. So, uh, so we have a little bit more of a challenge other than just sitting around thinking about, hmm, what do you think people are going to really like next? We have to say, what are they going to really like that's going to have some relevance to the Patron brand? Oh, and when you develop new menu items, how much do food costs play into the equation? Well, we have to come up with something that uh, we can sell uh, at or below our highest menu price. Uh, we have a, a top tier, it's $8. For an extra large pizza with everything on it, it's $8. So anything that we develop, we sort of think about it in terms of what's the best we can do, what's the most food we can give our customer and still have it meet, uh, fall into a reasonable food cost range. If it's a pizza that gets somebody coming back and increases their frequency, and instead of them coming once a week, maybe they come twice a week now or four times a month instead of a couple times a month, you can afford to take a little bit higher cost on that item because you're going to make it up an additional gross because of the frequency. If it's a product that brings a new customer into the store that's never tried you before but they saw beef barbacoa, maybe window cling, and they come in and try it, you retain that customer for the next five or ten years, you could afford to run a higher food cost on that item because look, you got a customer out of it. So uh, on, the, on the limited time offers we have a little bit, little bit broader range on food cost but it still has to fit. Can you take us through the process of menu rollouts? How long does it take? You know, where the ideas come from and how the whole thing falls together? You know, we can work very, very quickly here. Um, we do everything in-house. We produce uh, all of our marketing pieces, uh, all of our operations manuals. We do the photography for the ops manuals and stuff. We do all that right here in, in the office. So we have a lot of control over uh, getting a project out the door. If we were to develop a new pizza, the first thing we would do is after we nail it, get the, get the recipe down, secure the ingredients through the distribution network, then we would, we would manualize it. We would put together a, a small operations manual, a small version, and we get that out. After that, while that's being happening, the marketing support materials, the, the point of purchase materials are being developed and uh, everything sort of comes together at the end. To answer your question, I would say to do it right, do it effectively, about three weeks. And how often do you eat at the competition and who do you consider your competition? Uh, you know, the, the big answer is anybody that exchanges money for something you can put in your stomach is a, is a competitor. I see more and more with grocery stores now selling complete packaged meals uh, very aggressively and it must be doing a good job of that. Uh, in the pizza segment, as you know, it's an extremely competitive business. Uh, to go into the pizza business without a point of difference, such as we have, 
I think right now would be extremely, extremely difficult. We match up well with some of the chains that offer the same value proposition that we do. But where other chains have difficulty matching up with us is because we try to develop the Pizza Patron brand that doesn't just uh, match you with the taste profile or match the price, but we try, to, we try to hook up and connect with people in the heart as well. And it's very difficult to replicate if you're one of our competitors. How do you know when it's time to roll out a new menu item? Well, some of it is seasonal. Uh, some of the, uh, the items work better in the summer or during, during the winter. Um, a, a lot of it, uh, for example, during Lent, uh, we developed a Spinach Classico pizza, a, a great product, a great product. Uh, but we ran it just for that period of time, and we'll bring it back, obviously, next year. So a lot of it is, you know, sort of reading what makes sense in that month or, or that or that time. We don't really uh, go listen necessarily to a, a customer that comes in and says, hey, you know what would be what would be what would be great uh, and and react too strongly for that. I mean it's easy to come up with something that on, a, on the customer side of the counter that say you know what would be great but when you have to consider okay hmm it has to be trainable I have to be sure I can get all the ingredients in our distribution system. Uh, it has to be something that I can market effectively. You know, it has to have some sort of sizzle to it. And uh, oh yeah, I have to be able to run a pretty decent food cost on it or it's not going to work out. Customers don't always think like that. So it's our responsibility to take maybe what they're thinking or what they, what they want and then come up with a way to make it make good business sense. We're talking with Antonio Swad of Pizza Patron. Check out the next part of this series as we explore what it takes to be a leader with guts. For Food Channel Pro, I'm Ellen Kodas.